hello guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel blatek256 in this video tutorial i'm going to guide you on how to bypass the fr lock on itel a56 so let us get started so um this is our itel a56 which has the frp lock the google account lock so let us go ahead and start click on start click on continue then you have to connect to a wi-fi network Okay, so we are connecting to a Wi-Fi network. Connected. Now you're going to see that it has the Google account lock. Just click on don't copy. So as you can see right there, it is requesting for the, the password. If not, uh, you have to use the recently used Google account. Okay. As you can see right there. So what we need to do is to head back. Again back. Again back. So basically this bypass you must be with the sim card within the phone so let me show you that you must be with the sim card and some contacts on that sim card okay as you can see that so just go ahead and click on emergency call and then double tap on emergency information then click on this right here then click on add contact click on allow again tap on add contact then select any contact then tap on that contact you click mm. you click on the left on the those three dots in the corner then click share then tap and hold on the gmail app tap and hold it tap on app info then tap on notifications then tap on additional settings right here then tap in the left corner where you see the three dots click on help and feedback then uh, what we are going to write here is to type in delete or disable delete or disable apps that one right there then tap on that share button tap on it then you can tap either on go 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 or on the phonix app okay so let us tap on the go go uh, on the phonix app okay you can select any click agree and start and then in the url go ahead and type in this e frp dot me type that e frp dot me type on go then just click on continue allow you can either click continue or not now then first of all go ahead and download google account manager 9 then click on download so there it is it is downloading
click on open settings allow it then install after installing click on done now click back then go ahead and inst download the quick shortcut maker that one download it so we are downloading quick shortcut maker go ahead and open it and install it then go ahead and open it now search for the google account google account uh, manager scroll down you'll be able to see it that one there, right there google account manager then scroll down to type and type email and password click on try then click on that on the three dots in the left corner click on browser sign in click ok then wait for the browser to load you're going to log in with your valid gmail account okay so let me go ahead and type it in then click on go then you type in your password okay click on go okay so from there we are done just go ahead and and power, restart your phone So we are restarting the phone. So right now we are done. Just click next. Start. Then you'll be also able to see the skip button. Tap on it. Click on continue as you can see that is the email that we used it is also added just click on more so guys if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my youtube channel Blair Tech 256 so as you can see guys the phone is now successfully unlocked and it is bypassed it no longer has the FRP lock so guys if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my youtube channel Blair Tech 256 I sign out